Go live. Here we People are. are we're live. Stop. We got we, go. we got a special guest tonight, guys. Hey, look at that. Oh, who's on there? Can everybody say hoogie? There we go. There we go. <laughs> special guest. What's shaking All bacon. the way <laughs> from Germany. I know, but, right? Where it's four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're loving having you here. Yes. We got to chat a little bit with him earlier. Um, he didn't show us the Scotch collection yet. That's going to be afterwards. I think that's going to be uh, keep us from being too jealous, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, you guys. Thanks for having me, guys. Absolutely, we love it. So, are you still drinking the Glendronic Twelve? Um, yeah, uh, I was frust a little bit of frustration, you know. I switched to the um, Fifteen now. Oh! oh. Up a little bit. I thought it would be a perfect. That's not. That's not nice. Make it a Glendrona evening. <laughs> but it's an Enderdor we're doing tonight. We've uh, we've got the Glendronic, the same bottle. We haven't opened ours yet though, because uh, we're we're saving that one. That was yeah. We've got to do that right and do it some justice. Um, we also have uh, this fifteen. Do you have this one, Hoagie? The uh, do you have the fifteen? The special one you were you were looking for. The Tawny Port. I, or no, the, what is it? The fifteen Tawny Port. Or, I've tried, I think I've tried the 15, either the 15 that was the predecessor to the 18 years old, which is also sold out by now for quite a while, but yeah, I, I tried one and I liked it pretty much. Yeah, but I didn't mind. That's well, <laughs> good to hear, ITZ. We're trying to change some things out and spread our, our reviews and our, our, our video time. Yeah. So I want to make week. sure if anybody online, can they hear Hoagie yeah, on yeah. here? Yeah, let us know if can hear him. Yeah. We're trying to work it out, but we'll see if that... i got to pull up the uh, we, comments we, so I can... We've had some technical difficulties. <laughs> We're working through all of it. We're so, working uh, on it. We never have technical just difficulties. Just I'm not looking at the chat, I keep the, the live stream switched off, not to cause any further potential technical <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a smart move. <laughs> because if somebody addresses me in the chat, I, I don't respond. It's not because of negligence, <laughs> but I yeah. just don't see what well, you know. know. So, so you four, you need to be my, you know, um, my window to the world. <laughs> you got it. Fair <laughs> yeah. So hopefully, if you guys, if this works out well, we can uh, we can continue to have guests on on the live feed with yeah. us because there's some some guys. Hogue's been after us for about four or five months. Oh to be gosh, yeah. We've longer, tried so a couple times. Just you know, out. excited to have them on, um, especially when the guys got to get up at three thirty in the morning. <laughs> um, you are a trooper, Hogue. Uh, so it looks like uh, everybody watched the uh, video on Monday. It looks like uh, maybe that's okay that we switched it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mark was saying we kind of switched it up a little bit. Uh, we've, we've been looking at our analytics a little bit just to be a little technical. But, uh, look, you know, we got this nice cool thing on Thursday, which just goes crazy. Whoa, Woo, what's going on? And then Friday's like, yeah, it's too bad. And then Sunday comes around and like, Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so, and unfortunately, we just don't have the time to, to really keep. We would love to do a video every two or three days, but just, yeah. there's no way. Don't know so if we want to stay married. Like, yeah. We would yeah. not be married still. <laughs> well, I not promise you. Oh. Like, what was that? Oh, he's flashing stuff. What was that, Ho? Oh, that was a miniature bottle of the. Um, oh, the Nice. Nice. He's drinking oh, with that's us. The one I had when I tried it last year or so. So, <laughs> what, uh, what do you guys all think of this Edredor bottle, by the way? So that, that's kind of the, the point of what we're doing here by releasing on um, Wednesday or Monday and then, and then doing the live later in the week. It allows you, if, if, well, if the review goes through and you it sounds good, it give you a chance to buy the bottle, yep. get it for drink it, with you us. Know, drink with us uh, if you can find the bottles. So that's the intent. Skype in. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, <laughs> this is just the first. Hoagie had to be first. Uh, you know, we're, we're definitely interested in doing, you know, definitely more of these, maybe even each week if we can, if we can figure it out. Um, we got some things we kind of learned already tonight. So <laughs> right. we're, yeah. we're like, okay, well, what do you think progress. about that one? So the Hoagie's yeah. being a beta tester for us. So he's working great. <laughs> yeah, he's a trooper. I'll, I'll take the hit as a, the test the dummy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a beta dummy. That's <laughs> all right. 
It looks good. It's Wait. coming through fairly good. Yeah. Actually, the audio hopefully you can see him okay. I think the next step is, is yeah. probably have a little speaker right here or something. Or you know, We're working know. on it. But yeah, we yeah, got to get we'll the audio fixed. Out. We, we had to hang up on him and call him back like 12 times. So Tiger Bell <laughs> says hi, Hoagie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. All right, so Drew, the, the primary tech guy, is working through all of our... Uh, Difficulties here. Uh oh. So doing? actually, Tiger Bell, we we need to make you sure that you hear us say thank you. Um, I think we're expecting a package from you here in the very near future. I'm is hoping that, so. Is that that's true? correct? It's right here. Um, I'm excited about that. <laughs> so we're not. We are now currently scheduling our uh, crawfish boil around that delivery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't see, see inside. His English is damn good as well. Tiger Bell says your English is good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Heck> yeah. <laughs> You should hear it after a couple of drams. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, hey, what's up, buddy? What's going on? Uh, I think we're uh, going to be getting with that guy in a couple of weeks, too. So yeah, that'll be good. we got to come up with a bottle to do with you. What, what's it going to be? Well, here we go. Something you can only hey. do. What are we doing here? What do we do there? Hey, say something, Hoagie. We're watching him drink. Are we on there? Mm -hmm. Aha! Mm -hmm. The video, the audio's up. Still good. Wow! <laughs> He's got some bass to his tone. <laughs> wow, he just got a lot well, deeper. Now I can move this back so you can right. Now, now you're loud. I <laughs> said <laughs> seasoning and salsa. Did you know she sent salsa? Yeah, she, she did send some pictures. salsa. I'm excited. So excited. Then a few days later, the live show. Sure. Absolutely. Thanks, Alan. Th that, that was the, that's the kind of the point. Now, that's why we're doing the Monday, Thursday thing. Give everybody a couple days to maybe have a chance to try it and come up with some thoughts and perspective about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So, speaking of which, did everybody get a glass? Hoagie's got uh, one. I need another glass. Let's, let's, let's talk about this end door. So, yeah, you know. Before we, the, the wheels come off, yeah. <laughs> we get off topic yeah, we do really get quick. Off topic. Um, so, we started our first bottle of Edredor was was the Saw Turns cask, right? Mm -hmm. And I think I think we killed that. Yeah, and, and for some reason that didn't sit well with me. Um, so I didn't. Because you guys don't like Saw Turns. Yeah, I didn't have high <laughs> expectation, but I I thought this was a little better. I mean, it's young, it's ten. Yeah. But I I, I think I liked the distillery. I I just respect them. I, I think it's got a good base flavor, I guess. Uh, I, I think it it shows a lot of good malt character and. Uh, it's a good starting point, I guess, for the distillery. Uh, I, I think that it lends itself to maybe, you know, a, a little more aging and maybe some different casking to oh. kind of bring out some different flavor Let's profiles. The, ooh. Oh, straight from the cask. Look what at is this. this? Not, with got burgundy already. cask finish. What the oh, yeah, man. But, but you can have it if you, if you ever come here to uh, Germany because <laughs> it's not really great. <laughs> <laughs> It was so, a gift to me from somebody who said, well, do you want to have it? And I tried it. Hey, and I was Jessica! Like, okay, I'll take up? it. You know, I can, I can bring it to some events or friends' birthdays. And <laughs> I don't know the difference. And so it's, so. it's the giveaway <laughs> scotch. Yeah, exactly. Every yeah. bar has to have one or two of those. I mean, it's really Hang neatly on. packed, as you know. Hang on. Oh, um, that's nice. It yeah, looks good. The burgundy doesn't really work. No, yeah, so it's, it's not good with the whiskey. I wish it was a normal bur uh, bourbon cask uh, uh, bottle, and then I'd probably enjoy it more. How old is that, Elgi? This one, which is this particular one, let me check, 11 years. Okay. okay. So, uh, okay, it's, it's only a bur burgundy cask finish, so... Okay, so, so probably a year yeah. maybe in the burgundy and 10 in the regular? Probably. Yeah, room. enough enough months to mess it up. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> enough months to mess it That's up. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> so the interesting thing about this is, is as we tasted the ten-year non-special cask, it brought back a lot of the memories of that Sauternes cask, that and kind of the the flavor profile was actually more similar on, to Jess. the Sauternes that I had originally thought. So it was wondering if maybe our our dislike of the Sauternes cask wasn't necessarily the Sauternes, but it was their make. Their make is different than what we're used to. And so yeah. you add a little bit of finish to it. The the Sauternes added something, but it was mostly the new make that was not not normal for us. So maybe the, the Edredor new make, then when you put it with the Burgundy cask, maybe those fight. And that's very possible. Yep. Because it is it's a sweet possible. kind of For example, sour. I really like the, um, the Nectador. 
Glenn Moran, Jeanette Calor. Yep. It's so her and it's one of my like standard bopping favorites, so to speak. But doesn't work with all kinds of um, distilleries. Mm -hmm. so yes. It's very specific. Thing. Yes. Yeah, that's a it's a weird wine. So I, I can imagine you've got to be picky when you're putting it with a whiskey to finish it off. Same with the Burgundy. I mean, that's not going to go with everything. It's it's got to pair yeah, up. Yeah, more specific. These heavy red wines or even light red wines. <laughs> Hold on, just call it. I really enjoy the um, the Springbank Long Row Red series. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yep. Came up with a new one, and with a Malbec this time. Really? This time. Oh, 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 oh. interesting. But yeah, it's, it's it really works. It works. But I'd be interested you know, to try that. Well. One. <laughs> That's a whole different deal. So who do we yeah. who do we got? Oh, here? So we got I, I, everybody's commenting. There's another whiskey girl that logged on. Uh, I would introduce everybody to Jessica. I met Jessica a few about a month ago up in Maine. She. Uh, was a, she's a chef and she came up and cooked for us at the guide school. Um, she spoiled us rotten. I think we did. We, we just spent more time eating than anything else, but it was absolutely wonderful. And come to find out, she loves whiskey. So nice. She, um, Welcome to the show. She had some some Johnny Walker up there with me. And today is Jessica's birthday. So oh, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. I hope that whiskey hey, uh, was a birthday, birthday gift. Speaking birthday tomorrow. Tomorrow. I, you know that. We Cheers, brother. We talked about this. Uh, yeah, man. Absolutely. 25. 25. <laughs> you can tell my name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're back there. I'm just a man in Germany. Uh, so anyway, we got some people. Thanks for on. checking us out, here? Jessica. This is really cool that you joined. Um, what are we talking about here? I, I let's tell X wants to say Oban like a very light whiskey, or is there some spice or something? I Boy, we've had two old bonds, I think. Uh, no, the Little Bay, is that what it's called? Little Bay, yeah. yeah. Um, I, 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 I remember being fond of that. No. That was earlier on in our, in our whiskey adventure, right. too. I still don't think I'd be fond of that one. It wasn't that great. It was pretty um, it was pretty thin, if I remember correctly, on the, on the whole Scotch side of things and the taste. and What's the going on? So, oh so the question is, with this, I don't, think it's, I don't think this is particularly light. I don't know what their coloring scheme is, this, but... Um, this has a little bit of sour on the back, but it's generally a pretty medium, middle of the road scotch. It's not too hot. Um, it's got yeah. good flavor. What's the yeah, I was just going to look that up again. I think 43. It was, yeah, it was, um, but it's only 10 years old, so it's, it, it's, it's not as finished. It is a little rough. I'm right. getting that sour too now. Then yeah, so, or whatever that is. So, so that's, that's the, the thing. So if, if you add the sauternes to it. It kind of brings that even more. Yeah. It's almost uh, it almost complements the the new make. Yeah. I think probably better than like a burgundy would, because mm -hmm. you get that medium build sour flavor, and then you add a burgundy heavy oak, and I think that would be that could be upward, shall we say. So it looks like uh, if you guys it's, don't know, uh, Microsoft, as we call Microsoft, it's it's now I it's whiskey. It's whiskey, yeah. Um, he is starting his own reviews as well, so we're looking forward to seeing that, my yeah. friend. To now well, it's competition. Yeah. <laughs> hey, now uh, you gotta go down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't kid yourself. Talisker's good stuff, it by is. the way. Uh, yeah, so I, it is. I'm I'm fond of Talisker. I, I like that brininess. That we've had a lot I of love Talisker. 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 I bet Hobie's back there with some crazy Talisker. Have we had some Talisker tan before? What? What's up, Jessica? Yeah, tasting. <laughs> not here. I'm not sure we've ever... We, we, we need to get a scotch, that. Jessica. We've just, we've just done... I oh, don't even done the storm. That's the one we yeah. haven't done. So, yeah. The Stills edition. Yeah. Yeah. He, oh, he will move down to uh, Glen Dorn 15. Is that what he's got mm -hmm. in his class? Yeah, is that what you have? Oh, yeah. Devil. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you know, I'm, I'm almost through, so... So, are you, are you, how did that compare to the... It's going go. to 21. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, you get, do you have to work I today? Skip the oh, so skip the hey, he's have still have got hours. You can just sleep it off. You can sleep it off. That's true. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, so how is the 15 compared to the 12, Ogie? Um, the 15. Um, much more refined than the 12. Okay. Um, some people really, you know, the the 15 was really popular. Some people swear it's even better than the 18 or the 21. Um, well, I for once always thought that um, the 15, when still available, was a very, very well-crafted whiskey, but not one of my favorites. I don't know why. Um, I preferred the 21. But when it became scarce and, you know, prices uh, began to rose, 
uh, rice, uh, I, I just uh, saw to myself that I fetched myself one or two bottles of the 50. Smart move. Just in case. Sniped it. Over some 21 year old. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, very, it's a very good whiskey. Um, but you, you, were, you know, it, it's not. I don't know. I like kind of um, whiskey, uh, whiskeys with with um, as much personality as possible. They don't have to be convenient as possible, but they have to be like special. You know? And so, so the fifty is a good whiskey. Is a great whiskey, but not something that stands out. You know, what me. are what are the ABV differences between the three? Okay. Well. Yeah, the 12 starts off with, um, I think, 43%, and the um, the 15 has 46% ABV, the 18 as well, and the 21, 48. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. We have a question for you, Hoagie, from the crew here. Tiger wants to know if you'll adopt this all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... <get> <laughs> I don't know, I, I got this fuzzy feeling in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, I think you well, love us, but I you can't afford us. You're, but, but you're more than, you're, um, okay, I'm probably, I'm, 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 uh... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's too fuzzy! <laughs> you, you, made, you made him blush, I think he's got, look how red he is! He's blushing, <laughs> he's blushing Tiger. I, I would certainly adopt you all, although it's kind of strange to have people that are older than me. <laughs> oh! Was that a burn or what? <laughs> there was. Dang. I readily share my staff. A little oh, mess that up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> share my stash with any one of you visiting me. Nice. So there you go. You just have to so go. Oh, we over just to need to go to Germany. <laughs> That's all. That's no problem. No problem. So you know, we could just drive over to Telex's house. I think he's got a stash too. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he's got some peated whiskey in his house. His, yeah. his pictures. Yeah. Hey, speaking of that, we love. Last week actually was pretty cool. If you're on, go to Facebook right now on our page and uh, you know post it. You know what? We'll do a selfie again like we did last How week. How are we um, doing? And then yeah. you know just comment on what you're drinking. It, we love it. Even if it's just a selfie, if you're doing cheers, whatever. We just love mm -hmm. to kind of see what's going oh, on. It was everybody. awesome seeing everybody's uh, glasses. Well, we yeah. actually spent a lot yeah, of time cheers. looking at the background of everyone's pictures <laughs> to see what kind of bottles were behind them. You know, like, whoa, what's that? What's this? We were, right? we were pulling a, a hoagie and, uh, and Rayman. We were like, what's that one right there? Yes. No. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you notice there was a moment of silence while you poured that? We were all watching, anticipating. You want to get, get hoagie in there, too? Yeah, get hoagie in there. Too. Oh, okay, sure. What are you doing? So, oh, what was for dinner one. tonight, hey, Jessica? Like what was the birthday dinner? Yeah, let's go that way so hey. you can see. Yep, I'm looking. What are we looking at? The TV. I'm looking at the back of Drew's head. <laughs> I'm trying to get the angle. It's kind of hard. What are we doing here, right? Oh, no. Nope. Oh, there we go. Hey, here we go. <laughs> All right, guys. Legs on there. You, you got, got an twice. amazing reach on that arm. Man. They call me the selfie stick, the human selfie the stick. Human he is selfie the, stick. the human selfie he stick. Is that. When he's here, when he's not here, we call him other stuff. <laughs> Wait a minute. All good stuff. It's all good. <laughs> so, so is it better? You need to get the twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we better get it just, while we've got all these other bottles it. up here. So it looks really dark. <laughs> I mean, look at the color in the glass. It just looks a lot darker. It, um, is there a cask finish on that? Uh, pardon me? Is there a cask finish on that, or is it just bourbon barrel? You mean sherry? Yeah, or whatever. Or bur uh, burgundy or... Uh, well, I think it's 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 holy here. It says matured in a combination of the finest Oloroso and Pedro Jimenez Sherry Oh, yeah, so okay. It's fully matured in PX yeah. and Oloroso. That'll make a difference. That'll make it darker. Now I really want a bottle. <laughs> yeah. So I think I'll have to agree with Telex. Telex posted if Andrew comes over, I don't think he'll leave the basement. It's constant peat and smoke in this house. <laughs> <laughs> I think Telex and I may be kindred spirits here. Because I that's entirely those, those those rich flavors that heavy smoke mm. we're making. I know, I know they all for see they all say they like it now, but I but it's just because they're learning from the best. I think Telex and I are educating yeah, others around. 
on how good the smoke can be. <laughs> I like the smoke. Granted, he was smoking. Even longer this He's been doing scotch a lot longer than I have, so really I probably learned from him, but it's fine. Uh, Alex, so. I got, you know what, uh, we were just talking about that today. Um, we've got some salsa we're going to send your way with yeah, uh, we do. some empty um, bottles yes. for more salsa. So well, Yeah, we've, yes. we've got some, some salsa we're sending oh, and a couple of empty bottles for you to return some salsa. And some other patrons may be getting something uh, too. Uh, who knows? I'm not sure. It, yes. But um, we're just not Little getting into the group. Doing? We're getting into the gang. So. so, Mark, what are our patrons? What is that? What's a patron? Wow. Um... A patron is someone that supports our channel. Really? I mean, <laughs> See those guys? See so the name you guys know what patrons are. There, there are some new people on that probably don't. So um, Patreon is a way for people to support our channel financially. Um, Jason, Dan, Lee, and Robert have all become patrons. So every time we produce a video on YouTube, they make um, a donation. We've got four different levels. One, three, five, twenty-five. 25. Yep. Um, and we actually give some things away for people that donate, donate to us. I mean, whether it's yep, adding your name to the videos and, and the, um, the credits or getting one of our handmade um, bottle hangers with our logo on them. Check those out. Which that is made from a whiskey barrel stave. So, um, and then it's laser etched. Laser engraved, baby. Um, you can still see the char in, inside the stave where, where it came off of. So those are really cool, man. And I make I, other I, stuff, too, when I get bored. Yeah. And then, <laughs> um, Drew's working on making some um, some candles yeah, from some of our bottles that we've drank to keep the labels on. Um, we're going to try to make the wax with uh, peated scented peat oil. oil. Peat oil. So oh, Telex can is. just light a candle <laughs> and keep that smell going in his basement all night. Um, so tell, right tell us he's going to want one of those. So, yeah. uh, so this is our shameless plug. Just yeah. to, you know, I know a lot of you are there. You know, normals for us see it all the time. You know, but just if you haven't yet, we'd love to get some more patrons because it's just even a little bit is helping us fund. You know, some of our is, scotch really collection. Helping. We're not making any money, folks. We're just we just yeah. love to drink scotch and, <laughs> and get more. All right, right. Don. <laughs> so. Um, no, actually, t a Tiger <laughs> Hoagie started with the Glendronic 12, moved to the 15, and is now on to the Glendronic 21, which was um, Oloroso and Pedro uh, Zemenez sherry cask. So, yeah, he's drinking. He's going through a whole. My, uh, my question oh, is. Oh, what is moving to? Oh, Glendronic 1996. What? Yeah, seventeen-year-old single cask will be the last plan. Single cask. <laughs> yeah, single cask PX. Do you own stock in the distillery? Fifty-three percent, a very, very dark plan. Fifty-three percent. Oh, more intense than the twenty-one. That's the one to get you ready for work, right? <laughs> That's no holiday. That'll that'll get you started on a holiday, Ooh, all right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, that that'll make me happy any day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is good stuff. That's awesome. So, Jessica, you never told me what you had for your birthday dinner. I I asked you if someone was cooking for you. I, I'm still waiting for that answer. Um, <laughs> so, what are what are some of my comments coming through? Uh, Asking about Glendronic. Where'd the quarter cask come through? Where's Jim? I want to see what Jim said. Oh, speaking of smoke, finishing off my Log of Warren 8 Anniversary Edition. I really like that bottle. The Anniversary Edition is cool. That, that an really it, for an eight-year-old bottle, I thought it was That's really crazy. good. Yeah. Um, yeah. We killed That's it pretty quick. Did you enjoy it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. One, bottle, one bottle left. I like it more than the 16. Not because it's it's like objectively uh, uh, better I think but it's more exciting to me. The 16 year old is more like the older, older man's I don't know uh, smoky dram and the, the, uh, the uh. eight is, is more like like f fresh, more exciting, more, I don't know. It's more vibrant. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it is. knocking on the old age, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm taking this personal. <laughs> you should. Just because um, you can see the gray hairs. Guys, last time I was on, uh, I, I drank the 16, so. Okay. <laughs> so that, that's, a, that's a very good analysis. Analysis that the Lagavulin 8 is brighter, it's more vibrant. It is. It is definitely like a or Yeah, it's Lagavulin. still it's, it's still just not, that classic flavor profile. But it's not, it was really good. It was it's yeah. not as mellowed and toned and as you know matured. I earthy, guess. <laughs> earthy. Yeah, yeah. It's just a different style. I found it to be a little sweeter. Hey, I think so too. Yeah. 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 What's oh, that? Oh, he's got the special. What is this? 
That's some good stuff. Log us up and see CWC. <laughs> oh, is it? Is that? You want yeah, we got. Good. Uh, we're actually you got posting. some over at your house. <laughs> I, I, think, I think next week Sean's drinking something now. We're posting it next week, so you'll, you'll get the chance to see What's that the one. highest ABV you guys actually like? If I remember correctly, yours weren't with I you Oh, know no, what? actually, we like the. Uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, but our problem was uh, I don't like it the next day. Yeah, <laughs> the ne I mean, that's. And you know what's <laughs> funny? It's not like I don't enjoy high proof whiskeys. But there's something about that glass that every time I drink it, when I wake up the next morning, I know I had a glass of that. <laughs> you know, I, I'm that drinking this, bad. which is, you know, what's, you know, I, you like guys it? still won't. This is 57, the stuff that I'm drinking right now, and it won't bother me a bit. Mm -hmm. That kind of merit mar on there, it's a slow, slow glass for me, but I actually enjoy it. I mean, no, that really? Irish no, whiskey, no. yeah, no, I'll, I'll drink like it. it. Um, it's two in the morning. It's, it's, a bar bar. Bar. <laughs> it's two in the morning. And I've had half a bottle of scotch. Hell yeah, it's great. I'm gonna try go. this bad boy out. Uh, uh, right. I'm up. You up for this one? You wanna try some of this? Yeah, I'm up for that. Um, <laughs> I bet you. I want to see. There, there's a, a lot of Facebook posts that have come on, so there's probably a lot of pictures on our Facebook oh, really? page if you want to check them out. Let me, yeah, let me pull it out. Um, what about you, Spigot? What's the highest? Uh, what's the highest ABV you like? I, what I kind of like about the high ABVs is they allow you, to, I mean, they really hold the water well. You can really tailor it to make exactly what you want. Well, I feel like you get exactly what the distiller was trying for when right. they made the whiskey. So, Benjamin, n yes and no. Guess. We moved it to Wednesday because we can't do it this Thursday. Um, you know, this time of year, we're, we're busy as I'll get out with. End of school, holiday season, holiday season vacations. Work. Work. I mean, people are coming and going. Our schedules are literally a little wacky right now, so we wanted to keep a live video coming out to everybody. Um, so we sent out a shout on Facebook, I believe, didn't you? It was today. I did it on Facebook and on uh, so and Twitter. Rich. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we moved it. It was scheduled for tomorrow. So no, normally every Thursday is our go-to. So Monday, so going forward, you're going to see Thursdays this show with, I think we're going to try and start doing guest speakers each show. Um, and Say then hi to our guest, our guest test. Our beta here. tester, beta tester or Scott, oh yeah, this is Scotty so tester, Hoagie, um, and then uh, every Monday we'll do our actual release of our review. Oh wait, everybody can join oh, in. Oh my lord, Telex, I don't think it's the, I don't know what it is about that bottle. It's just that bottle. Too. Yeah, I want the, I want the um, uh, paper towel, please. The rest of it, uh, usually high ABVs, and Mark can attest to this. I just wade right through them. Doesn't bother yeah. me a bit. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, that's not, yeah. uh, I mean, <laughs> doesn't slow me down. Whatever. But there's something about that bottle that it, it just doesn't sit right with me. It's got something in it that, that catches up with you the next day. But I, we like it. It's, I thought it was delicious. I, it's, it's got, it's deep. It's got a lot of character yep. in it. But. Just be ready so the next day. What's the artifact you're... Um, oh, you oh, yes, oh, yes, yes. It's not. It's not even... No, we, I picked it up tonight. Uh, we'll, we haven't done a review it, on it, but just the 10. Our big 10. And it's... It's, yeah, it's just... It smells so nice. It smells so nice. I got... You know, our, we, uh, yeah. we have a liquor store here it's locally. It's really different. It's really neat. I mean, it's... Th this... Yeah, I haven't poured yet. Now, maybe it's... I don't know. This has more fresh uh, berries, I think, in it. I think it varies of sweetness to it than the than uh, the CW. Wow, oh, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> so just so you know, um, Mark Rayner posted on the Scotch for Dummies. He's drinking Art Bags Isle of Sigamal Ten. He's drinking the same thing we are. Well, I'll be all gone. Uh, Nacho filtered, uh, and it looks like he's in a Norlin glass. If that's the glass I recognize, it's not a normal. Uh, yeah, that's different, isn't it? Not your normal. Uh, Glass. See, you know Jim what killed this Connemara yesterday? You know, I just saw that Whiskey and Whiskey but Six, not Whiskey and the Six right. did a comparison of the Norlin glass and the Glen Con glass. I did not get all the way through. Something came up at at home, and so I wasn't able to finish the review. But he was actually comparing a whiskey in both glasses glass. to compare to see if there's really any difference between those glasses. I know the Norlin glasses are like three or four times the cost of a typical Glen Con glass. It'd be interesting to see when you finish his review and see what he said about it. So let me see the color comparison of the two. I'm almost done with that. Mm, so, Hoagie, what do you know about Ardbeg? You got any of these? 
Yeah, I get out of it 45. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably about 50. Is kind of a mixed bag because they are really playing on the whole marketing scheme. You know, uh -huh. for the past couple of years with the Outback Day and all the different, yep. uh, like, they more are. expensive NAS bottlings they put out. But their standard bondings, the 10, Ugedao, and Cory Reckon, are pretty solid, I'd yep. say. Yep. Really good, good ski, so I don't mind them. I have a, the Ugedao and the 10. Mm. And Let me yeah. ask you this. I, I was traveling yesterday, and I was coming through uh, the Cancun airport in Mexico, and I saw a Highland Park that I'd never heard of. It was a non-age statement. Actually, I could probably look it up in my Google search because I can't remember the name of it, but I couldn't get... Probably one of these Vikings. <laughs> no, it wasn't the way. If it were one of the Viking yeah. ship ones, I would have bought it because Sean's been dying <laughs> for Sean had punched him if he didn't buy it. Yeah. I just want a Viking ship for the bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if someone wants to buy Sean a Viking ship for the bar... Yeah, I, I don't even need the bottle. Even if I it's just empty. Want the ship. <laughs> it could be empty. Just give I bet there's ship. one on eBay out there somewhere. There probably is. $150. Yeah, but it, guys, did you, see, did you see the new packaging of the um, Highland Park 10, 12, and probably following the 18 as well? No. no. The new bottle design? No. no. Oh, yeah, I saw I did see the, I saw the 18. I mean, it was like crystal glass, right? And it's shiny. and. Yeah, the one the one all in Boston. Yeah. Oh, really? I saw that. Yeah, they're, they're new bottles. Really? Yeah. Actually, really our our so um, it was our friends the uh, test dummies did it um, with um, uh, Scotch Trooper. I think I saw that video. Highland oh, Park yeah. Einar. That's what I was going to get at, at, at Cancun Airport. E I N A R. It's a forty percent, sixty sixty pounds, I guess. But I couldn't buy it because the power went out in the airport, and they weren't uh, they were only accepting cash. So. No, oh, that's a sign. That's that's exactly what I said. I was like, "There's a sign. I, that means I don't need this, especially since I'm going to Scotland in a couple of weeks." All right. So there's been a lot of comments online. We got yeah, to catch up a little up. bit. Um, <coughs> our big ten, Telex is our big ten is a nice one. Uh, the lemon lime zip. Other than that, the only beef, uh, Telex, the only beef I have is the lemon lime zip. I'm not getting that. Got it's maybe you're doing it wrong. Oh, maybe you're doing it wrong. Aaron. What's he pouring there? What's he getting into? He's going into the, uh, uh, the oh, 17. How dark that is. That's oh, the yeah, 17 the cast. Yeah. Man. Uh -huh. So Alex door. Lee says, try leaving Ardbeg overnight in a shot. That looks box. like coffee. That does. Look at oh that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Holy what moly. Is that? Can you guys see that? Is that it's like oil? coffee? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just morning Joe. <laughs> wow. That's a good coffee there. I want a glass of that pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> how long would it take? How long would it take to uh, send salsa bottles over? <laughs> I'll let you get those through. Yes, there Alex. It Lagavulin and eight's worth buying. Absolutely. Um, don't pat, it, at oh, least yeah. get yourself one bottle. You're probably gonna For want sure. more. Um, yeah, it's 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 a. Good, we were just talking good. about that. It's yeah. a good dram. Yeah. Uh, yeah, spigot. Drew, Andrew, and I are Drew and I are going here in a couple of weeks. We're going over a pond to run yep. around with the families. Um, Did what, I just been two. Uh, how long are you in Scotland? Mm, two or three days. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going up into the Highland area. Yeah, but, we got uh, a big V going on. We're starting off at the. I'm not sure where that's at. Campbelltown area. Then we go all the way to Loch Ness, and then back to uh, back down to Edinburgh. 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 So well, in the meantime, Andrew and I are going to be here holding down the floor. Yeah, so you guys are going to be doing. Somebody's going to be sitting All in the chairs. Is, be, yeah, if we don't like, come home with a special bottle, I, I don't know. think they're going to invite us back to no. the bar. So, so we we got some special guest speakers. Is your guest with a so. special bottle coming? Uh, I'm going to attempt to do that. Uh, yeah. You better put some in this awesome bottle. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ho, would you hold that bottle up close to the camera again? People are wanting to see that, Jim. Uh, Jim said, what the hell was that, Hoagie? <laughs> <laughs> turn the box over so we can see the label. Yeah, you want to show them up, up higher. So it's Glen Dronach, uh, 1996. 17 year, you said, cask strength? Yeah. So it's a 1996 uh, 17, 17 year um, cask strength. If you, yeah, you want to look it up at uh, Whiskey Base, it's uh, cask number 1483. Single cask. Cast number 14843. Four, four, wow. 1996, 17 years old, bottled for uh, Whiskey Counselor. That's that's a guy like in Berlin. He's got a shop. And so 
You bought you bought a you bought oh, a, it's cask. a single You cask. bought a whole cask? I want yeah. one of those. See, man. we don't get we don't get a lot of We can get single seen. belt bourbons here because we're like right yeah. next door. We're in bourbon single barrel country. Sack. Gosh, is actually, uh, my my restaurant went and bought two barrels. So. Did they? Right? Nice. Yeah, nice. Not great. Yeah, oh, we've had some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've gone through a couple bottles of that at our house. What'd you get there, Mike? That's pretty good. Dude, that ten is good stuff. All, All right. right, so yeah, well, I, I think we need to do the other one's better, but I know the other one is so. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, that one's like. So what else? Uh, let's see. Fire. Let's see. I the like Tiger Belly. Like, you know, it's, it's interesting because I don't know if you were on earlier. Where Hoagie six said that he had spent a day, what, a day, a day in, in on Isla, and that was enough to hit really. Well, he said four or five distilleries. Yeah. Right? Well, it was. It was Ardbeg, Longview, and Lafroy, uh, Balmore. Uh, uh, Brooklady, Bomar, because it's all mm -hmm. like a mile apart, and so you can do it in a day. And I don't know if I could drive after a day being in Iowa, but I totally yeah. get the lemon lime. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> so, how much scotch did you come home with from that trip, Hogue? That's a good question. So, when you were in Scotland, yeah, well, it's it's really it comes down to um, the my budget. Yeah. Because it's not obviously it's not I'm I'm not rich, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but. I wouldn't but know. I, we were Scotch, you should go over there. I, was, I tell you that. I was <laughs> fortunate enough to hit Lagavulin in the story when they still had some of their fish ill like annual bottles there. And in uh, 2014, it was the 19 year old um, oh, cask wow. spring Lagavulin. Oh. And I snatched a couple of bottles. Oh, <laughs> That's a good snatch. <laughs> Good call. And Jim is talking about the glass you're drinking. And two of them I've left, but I have not opened them yet. <laughs> so Jim yeah. said about the bottle you're drinking that he probably won't be able to find that in his local liquor store, you lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably No, I don't true. think so. <laughs> so. Only at this certain So give store. him a cheers. Uh, cheers. Heck yeah. Alright. So. Let me pour you a glass of that and you can put it head to head. Just have a little sip. Well, this is, this is probably hotter than those. No, it's actually not. Really? No. Which one? There's more than just the, the distillery. The she's wrong to remember it all. That's true, Tiger you, well, you wouldn't catch it all in. I'll have a glass with you. So, okay. what's a good a snack bit? you guys you pair with Isla whiskey usually? What's good snack? Barbecue yeah. nachos. Barbecue pork nachos. Oh, yeah. dude, let me tell you. Every night. We're going to have some later. So, all right. right. What? Later. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's on. What? It's on. Thanks, Chef. So yes, uh, clearly something that has some of that smoked flavor really works well. So it's a pork, you know, smoked yeah. pork nachos. You, you can't go wrong with that. So wow, that if you were to pull you. your monies together to buy a barrel, which whiskey would it be? Boy, that I don't know if we had enough money. I don't know if we could pull. But let's just this hypothetically the, say we could. Yeah. Um, no, that's mine. Hoagie, that's you get to buy one barrel. What do you buy? I buy some. Oh, this is that one. I mean, well, I, I, <laughs> it would be a peated for me because I just. I, I mean, I mean uh, seriously, right. yeah, if I have the money, it, it doesn't like really come down to one particular distillery because they all put out great single yeah. cups. So yeah. there's a, a broad variety of, of, I don't know, like, I don't know, 20, uh, 30 years when drama would be great. Or. <laughs> I don't know, um, uh, an older art deck, uh, 70, 70 something art deck. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's, yeah. it's like if there are no limits, uh, what do you do? But from what's what's available nowadays, probably as far as I know, Glen Goyne, they still sell casks yeah. and yeah. they produce a, like a sherry flavored whiskey and perhaps a, um, yeah, a cask of Glen Goyne, sherry cask. There you go. Man, I don't know. Lagavulin ate smoked gouda with crackers. That's what I'm eating right now. And how's that going, Jim? Oh, my is it, God. Is it, smoked? Oh, my God. Is it gouda? <laughs> is it gouda? <laughs> really? I know. So that's the thing that, that we don't have the experience with is the single barrel, the single cast of scotch. They're not available where we are. Okay, so, so to, that's, to try, yes. to be able to try a single barrel of Glendronic as opposed to their normal blended... Um, they're not blended scotch, they're single malt, but they're, they, they blend casts together to make a, a bottling of 12 or whatever. 
I can't, I don't know the differences. So it'd be interesting to see with Glendronic, roughly 12 year old bottlings, what is the breadth of their, of the casks that are available? And I, that'd be really interesting to understand. Do they have really bad 12 years and they have really good 12 years and they blend them together? How do you, how do they do that? Every well, it, you know, with the bourbon is so well, absolutely it is. Uh, but I, I'm not going to discuss your stories. Ah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I, yeah, I got a combination to share. Yeah. All right. Um, and for example, what I, I I mean it. It sounds weird, but it, it's true. I tried it and it really worked. And um, the Freud cask strength combined with some chocolate truffles, like white chocolate and some truffle chocolate, and really works well together. You would think that it doesn't couldn't work, you know, with the extremes. But it blends perfectly. Are you I bet it does. This you guy bought me? us marzipan. I'm, I'm sure it works. <laughs> no, I, I completely understand. Because when we did that, oh, yeah, that I really like marzipan. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get some shirts made, guys. We're gonna have like marzipan. marzipan well, tell it always kicks us off with that in the comment section. No, uh, but, but when we had the the signet, which has a lot of coffee in it, with the creme brulee, ooh, spaghetti, which is burnt good. sugar, not ooh, a good combination. Nice. But when you had it with the, the uh, yes, yeah, so you guys tried that. The eighteen, yeah, the Glenmorangie eighteen, which is a much smoother, softer. Boy, the the uh, creme brulee, the burnt nice sugar there. and the creme brulee, and that four. eighteen rare, ooh, that was that really good. Nice. So I can see why a smoky, heavy Scotch with like a white chocolate, wow, so those would just now, now. balance on each I other. Think it's I say he's killing uh, me. I think that there's some scotches that, uh, I mean, the chocolate to me would pair well with that smoky, heavy scotch because it coats the mouth, and, and so yeah. it, it gives it time for the alcohol to kind of eat away some of that chocolate, and you can combine right. them a little bit, mm -hmm. and they're they're both heavy flavors, but in a different style. Yeah, so right. I, I think that you've got to be careful, you know, if you're going to try and pair scotch with things, you know. It, some things you have to be complimentary with, like that 18 and the, <laughs> and the uh, creme brulee work well. And some things like the chocolate and a heavy smoky scotch work well because of how they interact with one another. So, you know, when, I, when I'm at work, a lot of times people ask me, and, you know, it's difficult for me to pick things for people because I don't know their palate. I can pick stuff all day for me. <laughs> um, but for other people, it, it's really a, kind of a challenge because I don't know what you like. I don't know what your flavor preference is and your profile is. So to pick something that I think goes well, you know, I can I can guess, you know, based on what I think pairs well. But That's true. it doesn't mean that it's going to go well for yeah, you. So, I agree. Uh, but we're going to try some stuff. We're going to do a food tasting with some different scotches. Um, and that's going to be one of our videos coming up, and uh, probably when you guys get back. Yep. I've got a menu plan. We're going to do some cool stuff. Uh, oh, my God. You know what? I, I, I think his name's Trent, but i got to tell you. Uh, you like you like the IT, don't you? Wait a minute. I so, love so the fact that we usually get things about, you know, you shoot this, try this, whatever. I will say that the geek in, this, in me is just, like, tickled pink that I saw somebody say, Let's pitch in for some SEO optimization. I'm like, that's <laughs> badass right there. That's <laughs> badass. You're such a geek. Oh my gosh. <coughs> so, so for us non geeks, what does that mean? Uh, <laughs> search engine optimization. Yeah. Basically, when you search on YouTube and Google, um, it's what gets you to the, the top. It's the keywords. It's all the, the the metadata that's involved that makes you come. To so you can pay for that. Shit, well, there's, there's, you can pay for that definitely, and it's like, it's like, a, it's like a marketing thing, a lot of it too. Yeah. And then there's also pieces where you can pay, but I think it's what he's talking about. Well, we're busy drinking scotch. I think we're fine. <laughs> We'd rather have salsa. <laughs> <laughs> what else are you gonna do for the national holiday? Uh, what, what, what holiday is this anyway? Mm. <laughs> It's, uh, I wonder if there's a, um, an English uh, translation. I would have to look it up. But it's it's like a Christian holiday. Okay. It's like Christ ascend to heaven. You know? The ascension. Okay. And yeah, the ascension. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And then two weeks later, it's um, uh, Pentecost. So it's like this one is is always on Thursday, this holiday. And I took Friday off, so I have a long weekend. Nice. Nice. Party time. And on Friday, I'll be uh, attending a wedding. Oh, Very nice. Cool. 
<laughs> Not yours, is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys get a long weekend. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I do get. I forgot. Yeah, you, you're really gonna be crazy. Yeah, so this is uh, the Indy 500 weekend here in Indianapolis. Oh yeah, so uh, no, this is my here. busiest weekend of the it's whole year. Crazy. So you, if you come to Indianapolis on this weekend, you can spend, you can watch race with 300,000 of your favorite friends. <laughs> and if you happen to come for the 500, hit us up beforehand next year, and we can come over to the bar. Malted and Montreal, that's a hoagie bear. He, uh, <laughs> who's the dude on the TV? He <laughs> is uh, probably our one of our first real big subscribers that really got uh, involved with. Uh, He's been educating us by right. for years. Um, he's <laughs> in uh, Germany, yes. Uh, Telex got it. So Hoagie's in um, Berlin. He got up at 3.30 this morning to join us and be our first guest. So, you know, Dude, we're going to get really you in the shoot it. soon. Cheers, hopefully. brother. Malted cheers. Montreal. Thanks for joining us. Yes, yes. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he's on the water, He's going to water. I don't blame you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to refill my cup and bring some other whiskey, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, go, go oh, grab yeah. it, man. That's yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So, Malted in Montreal, you're on, you're on deck, man, and we're gonna get you on here too. I think uh, we talked to Whiskey and Six. We've got uh, two others lined up. No, Scotch Test Dummies. Yeah, we've talked probably, to those guys. Yeah, and we'll probably go on one of their feeds before too long. And yep, a lot of stuff's gonna happen person. probably later in June. Just to be honest with you and transparent, because you know we're we're heading out of the country. So. Yeah, it's just busy time in the, the next month. I'd say the next four weeks are just gonna be busy. So it's probably gonna be mm -hmm. slow, and, and we're gonna have some guests. Guess folks down yep. in the bar with you guys. Yep. Um, so we're gonna do some stuff up for you. We are. Uh, but once once we get back from that and the dust settles, we're gonna get try to get into a regular routine where we can actually have, hopefully, uh, a guest. If not every live show, every other live show or something like it. Just depends on who wants to come on and and what we can work out. Um, I think the TV works pretty well back here actually too because it it kind of keeps us all live together. We'll put that one up here next time so we can look at each other. But uh, hopefully yeah. the audio is okay back there on the TV. But right. I, I kind of like it because it kind of feels like it works. It, well, that's the key. I mean, the key we're, we're all sitting at the bar together. Yeah. So Hoagie's on the third the fifth person at the bar, and then you guys are with <laughs> us, so we're all together talking. Now, unfortunately, Hoagie gets a side view of us. He gets my profile with a big nose. But, right. you know, that's okay. <laughs> just this time. Next just time, this time. We're next trying time to we'll work figure out, out technology. We, were, we actually What's spent... Since this guy got here, he's got a big smile on What's his face. Drinking? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? All right, everybody silence. That's what he's got. Uh -oh. Octomore. Uh, oh, I see it already. Octomore what? Yeah. It's white. We can't read it. Octomore. Octomore. What's the number? There it is. Isla, Isla Barley. Barley. What? What? It's a... Um, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's 6.3, the most... Yet the most uh, peated... 6.3? Uh, so that's not the most recent, though. No, 7.1 was... But it's an Isla Barley. That's not the recent either. Looks like you've hit it a few times there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good for you, man. What's the ABV on that guy? What's the ABV there? Uh, let me check... You yeah, got me up there. They do it pretty high. 62%. No, 64. Oh, okay. That would be Casper. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That makes this 57 look like nothing. You better let me try the Kelpie you know, with but, you. But, guys, but, guys, what? this uh, is, is not, you know, like with all Optimores, they are not medicinal, and they offer uh, much more than just the smoke. So even if it features all the 256 ppm or so, it's more mm -hmm. about the other flavors involved, which so makes it more, or, or sometimes in a way it makes it different and less smoky perhaps than a Lafroy cask strength because it's a different kind of peat. Because it's probably not Isla peat because they didn't know how to do it with Isla peat, so they got their malt from some highland uh, big malt factory and so it's not medicinal. Right. Hmm. That's true. So it's interesting. Good stuff. The interesting um, thing about that is the, the phenol content. So it's what, 180 or 200 ppm of phenol. So I happen to work for a pharmaceutical yeah, company. And we actually have an additive in, or a preservative in our uh, some of our drug product formulations that include phenol. No, Cresol, whatever you call it. And there's a, that phenol it has a certain aroma. And the medicines we produce have that certain aroma when they come out of the vial. 
it's not the same. It's clearly not the same. But you get some of that phenol smell in that raw material that we use. Can you bring of some of it home? <laughs> no. Uh, flavor wheel. No. no. <laughs> flavor it, wheel. It, in the containers we use, it's toxic levels. In the containers in the medicines, it's it's an antibacterial. So we could it. water it down a little yeah. There's a long way is what we I'm saying. Our we hands could, and smell we could, we could phenol our own <laughs> stuff. That would be cool. Uh, no. Tiger Bell, I'm sure we'll be putting something. Oh, are you kidding we'll, there's me? There's going to be something. With this guy's selfie arm, we're gonna, there'll be something. We'll, we'll have on. some drunken stupors over there for sure. I don't know how the quality's going to be, but we're going to try something. Malta, good to see you tonight, man. Thanks for stopping yeah, by. Yeah, right, Hey, we'll be in touch. See ya. I think his name's Swami. S- the Swam. I think. The Swaminator. Swami. Yeah, absolutely. And I think he said 10 is the latest Octomore. I didn't know that. So. Is wow. it really? That's, I think that's what he said. Yeah, yeah, the second version of the 10. Wow, ten point two. Like wow. two, two months ago. Wow. This time in cask strength, I presume, fifty-seven, fifty-eight something. So there, Whereas they, the first version was the watered down, watered down, quote unquote, to fifty-eight. So, <laughs> what was the one that we bought? It was a seven, seven one. Man, they really roll those out fast, then, aren't they? I, I think you got you had the six point one seven one. Yeah, but so I mean, seven. how fast do they roll those out? I mean, how the the main number? I know the point one is in the same year. You know, the point number is the first decimal <coughs> is in the same year. It's just the second batting of of that year. Year, right? Release. But the first number, what's what determines that number? What about the year? But the first is just the version, probably. <coughs> Most, mostly like each year. And then the second number is like the different casts. So one is always the traditional expert cask, and the second one is always a wine finish. Okay. And the third one, they started with these Isla barley things, and the fourth, uh, last year, for the first time, original oak, like, like, like fresh fresh casks that they, they use. But it's it's really I mean they are um, aside from the, the the second version of the um, of the more ten they are in I don't know they are delayed in a way right so they should have come out with the uh, eight point something but they didn't get we'll see yeah I'm just curious why they skipped from seven to ten and they don't have eight out yet yeah. No, it's not, not not ten point something. It's just a ten euro. Oh, 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 okay, that's where. Uh, all right. I, that's so where I was coming. reading about the the <laughs> Brooklotti, uh Isle of Malt today, and it's really interesting how they they're 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 an interesting distillery in that they're trying to be progressive in the bottlings. They're being more upfront and transparent about what's in the bottle, but then they then they come back to this really traditional. Uh, Scotch philosophy where the the Isle of Barley are barleys that are grown on the island of Islay only. Isla, Isla, mm-hmm. Isla, Isla, Isla only. Isla and so it's a very slow growing barley and it's, a, it's not a great condition to grow barley and so it, it produces a different nitrogen profile and a different flavor in the barley. So it's really, a, it's, it's really an interesting uh, comparison between Traditional Scotch techniques in old still, slow distilled, um, small batch, those kind of things. But then, yeah, we're going to tell you exactly what's in there. There's no hiding it. They're going to be non-aged. There's going to be a lot of those just unique um, <laughs> mixes that they put in there. So I think it's kind of interesting to to ha- how they balance that. And they seem to do pretty successful. I think we just created the first ever Scotch with the PD on online. <laughs> Hoagie. <laughs> T- Tiger, Tiger Bell is referring to you, Hoagie, as the scotch a <laughs> 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 Oh, far from it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just standing up on the shoulders of giants. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> that's exactly right. And that's the beauty of Scotch discussions like this is where everybody learns from each other. Yeah. Guys. I mean... We're all learning each, each week. Really, a big point of, of us starting this whole thing. You know, I, I mentioned it before, but because for, for perhaps for some of the audience out there, and um, like in Berlin, we have this scene, and there are many people who have been into Scotch for like 20, 30, 40 years. Yeah. And when you meet these people in some shops, and they start 
talking about Scotch and how the the seventeen uh, the eight in the nineteen seventy six uh, Tomatin was a really great one what? and the uh, different bottlings. You just <laughs> see the sign. You just go like this and go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's aha. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 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 so I was far away from now. I was four at the time when you're drinking that, Bob. Yeah. When they bottled that. Yeah. It's that. Uh, it's just like anything else. It's experience. It's just longevity right. to everything. Yeah. yeah. I, I still look back. Every once in a while, I'll go back and I'll look at our first video too. And yeah. <laughs> oh, talk yeah. about talk we're, about serious dummies. I mean, that's where we get the name. For we are dummies. We were. Told them. We like Greg. I think we're still dummies compared to Hoagie, but uh, we're getting better. Compared to a lot of people. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. It's not a race, it's a journey, and that's, I think we've been on one for close to two years now. Or Amen. We're doing all right. Yeah. Hey, we're having fun. That's, that's yeah, the, we, we meet a lot of cool people. Look at all the people the we've met online. Awesome. Um, we've got a guy from Berlin. They got up at 3.30 in the morning to talk to us about scotch. Uh, I'm and we little, love it. Yeah, I'm a little <laughs> jealous because he drank some really good scotch. I know, <laughs> and I think his arm's length. And then, he, and then, that a, one and and then he's <laughs> off for the day. Even better. Right. But, um, oh, wow. But we, this has been a good journey for us. Absolutely. We love it. Yeah. Well, we are getting close to the end of the time, guys. Oh, it is like Um, um Hoagie, we'll, we'll stay on with you afterwards for a little bit. Okay. So, what, um, has anybody posted on our Facebook page? I haven't seen anything. I guess, well, uh, I got some I alerts. Well... Maybe not. Nothing. Yeah, obviously, you guys subscribe to the channel. You're here. But um, uh, don't forget about our Patreon account or, um, you know, share share the subscription. Out. You know, let your, uh, let your other friends know that uh, that are interested in scotch anyway. Um, you Somebody know, can afford $3. You know, I, well, <laughs> come more, on. The more subscribers we get, it'll, it'll, it'll come around. Yeah, you uh, can't tell me what you're not drinking scotch right now. Right, exactly. You don't have to. Have, you don't have to have your face in there. I'll go slow enough. There. I'm not even sure how many glasses I've had at this point. I got two empties in front. <laughs> you got your two fists. Start right. calling me Andrew in a little bit. I'm having a problem. No, here. you don't want to show that picture. Yeah, I do. Well, I. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll show Hoagie in a second. Look at that picture right there. That's a great picture. <laughs> that was trying. Can you, see that? can you see Andrew double double sniffing? <laughs> We've got a whole wall of pictures of all these. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you sniff scotch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't even remember what was in that. Was that I think that made an Octomore, wasn't it? I don't know. Or was that like one? I don't remember. But it was a really good one of the smoky, peaty ones. It just, it just one of those you just wanted to put your book, <laughs> put your nose look in. really happy. And just have here's a, here's a good one from the, the, uh, the Whiskey Expo yeah. that we went to. I was feeling pretty good that by then. That was the uh, Dalmar guys, <laughs> wasn't it? I yeah, think. that there was the um, King Alexander. King? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had to get up the next morning, and go to New Orleans, and drink some more. You guys yeah. suck. <laughs> <laughs> they had Jura on there. There we is. That was at Whiskey Expo. You know, having a good old time. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, we always try to have a good time, time. especially when you travel with friends. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We always have a lot of fun. <laughs> say, say at the expo, I, I know that you oh, you try different things. Mm -hmm. I, I think that was the time when you tried the um, um, among others the Taliska thirty. Yeah, these guys. That was yeah, yeah. That, was, uh, that was awesome. That was a few years ago. Did, yeah, did they offer actually like like tastings? Yes, they asked. They, we took a tasting. A Taliska uh, flight. It was the. Yeah. They had the, the storm. storm. The Torm, 10 Storm 1825-30. And we did the whole flight. And we, I remember, all I remember is, actually, yeah, it got, got, it got, got better up to 18. The, the didn't care for the 25 25 was not that good. I mean, it was okay, but the 30 was amazing and right. the 18 was amazing. Right. So it was weird. It was yeah, the probably, same freaking. Probably the different 20, 25. I had the 25. A friend, a friend of mine has bought up 25. 25 year old, but it's from 2007 when they still did cask strength. Oh. 25, as opposed to nowadays where it's all watered down to 45.8, like the usual ABD. Yeah. And so it, it's really amazing. I, I wouldn't have taken it for a Talisker though, because probably due to the age, it lost some of its peeliness. The right. notes broke down somehow. You know what's funny? We thought the same thing with the 25, and then when we had the 30, it, it came back. Yep. And it tasted completely different. It was amazing. So, yeah. so my guess would be that 20, uh, 30 that you tasted was his 25. Because that was 2007. 
it might have been right in that range that wow that spring uh, rank is so good but it was uh it was interesting to try i mean it's always interesting to try a flight and yeah. try things in, in in a row and see what the distillery is going for over time and you know you're talking about you know a, a wide age range so you're talking about different people being involved in the process at some point um so it's an interesting deal to try especially the older scotches you know when you get up into stuff that's you know 25, 30 years old, that's a long time to sit in a barrel. It's it all is. based on the weather and what the new make was at the time they put it in. It's it's really an amazing, the, the specific age statement whiskeys are so much more dependent on the weather and all those kind of conditions, whereas the non-age, you can kind of create what you want out of what you have available. Well, I think it's time to wrap it, guys. Um, uh, first of all, thank you so much for joining us, Hoagie. Appreciate it, guys. Absolutely. Cheers one more don't time. Go anywhere, no, don't, don't go anywhere. Cheers. Um, cheers, to everybody guys. out there. Thanks we'll for next week. the Wednesday night show yeah. this week. Sorry that uh, we had to move it up, but next week's back to Thursdays. Um, take care.